which criminalized the discrimination against anyone on the basis of disability. Persons with disability are still highly discriminated upon in school settings. Many schools reject them outright. Families, some people, some parents torture the children in city in the name of seeking solutions spiritually. And then there is sexual and other there are sexual and other forms of abuse of persons with CP as well as other discriminatory practices against them. We are worried about the way most parents, the children with CP are losing their jobs and other means of life living. The condition of their children is having negative impacts on them and the siblings. The complications in some cases come with the child having seizures and many other conditions that parents, and many other conditions that require constant attention. These have led to the loss of job and closure of businesses on the part of parents. And most times, the situation has ripple effects on the entire family. They are also worried because this situation is entrenching poverty amongst these families, and help is not coming from anywhere. And most relates regrettably, empowerment of parents of these children receiving is not part of the program of the newly created National Commission for Pension for Persons with Disabilities. Another challenge is that of feeling disorder, which impedes their growth. Parents need nutritionists to step in and guide them, and some of these children and adults require feeding tubes. A survey of 2012 revealed that the lifetime cost of this type of feeding was estimated to be nearly $1 million per person. That's through the person's lifetime, $1 million just to feed, feeding tube. Now, this is, this is how expensive it is to manage persons with cerebral palsy. Our demands. Before we go on to the demands, I would like to say that we had a parent, I had a parent say, with his son, an adult, his son is about 23 years old, with cerebral palsy. The father said, the boy, the father, they don't take him out of the house anymore because he's too grown. If they need to take him out for his medical examination, they need to hire an ambulance. So we know what that means. So our demands. Government should, should reintroduce bursary or scholarships to students with cognitive disabilities, while employment of physiotherapists, occupational and speech therapists in all government schools should be of utmost importance training and retraining of special educators to have a broader knowledge of children with cerebral palsy. Computer-based educational programs should be adopted. Like I talked about their hands and all that. They may not be able to write, but they will be able to use their computers. Ensuring that all schools, recreational centers, etc., have all the accessibility facilities because the major challenge faced by persons with CP is mobility. Federal government should intensify efforts in the implementation of, of the National Disability Act to reduce the incidences of discrimination and stigmatization of persons with cerebral palsy. Government at all levels should channel resources towards building of diagnostic centers across the states because there is a saying that health is wrong. It will be a good move that serves as preventive measure. Government should specifically, should specially target parents of persons with cognitive disabilities in all the noble intervention, in all the social intervention programs, in order to reduce poverty among them and to enhance their caregiving services as well as covering the incidence of killing and abandoning their children with cognitive disabilities. Now, the National Population, National Commission for Persons with Disabilities should make cons cons conscious efforts to improve, to involve parents of children with CP so that they can 
partake on behalf of their children in all activities of the commission alongside other clusters of disability. In conclusion, we acknowledge the media as a critical stakeholder in this campaign because without the media, millions of racist campaigns will not go beyond the corners of this hall. Without the media, our voices will not be heard. We call on other stakeholders as well, especially the CSOs and well-meaning Nigerians to add their voices to promote the plight of, the, of this most marginalized group amongst persons with disabilities in the spirit of the SDGs slogan, which says, leave no one behind. Our prayer is that after this program, the media will take it further and indeed our children and adults with cerebral palsy will not be left behind. Thank you.